Welcome to New Frontiers Daily Devotionals. Um, I'm Dave Zeely, and it's a pleasure to be back with you. Uh, and you know what? It's been really nice to see people at, uh, at, at, our, at our meetings indoors again. I'm, I'm so glad we're doing it. Well, a few weeks ago, my wife spoke on meditation, on biblical meditation. And that's what I'm going to pick up on today. I'm going to tell you about a meditation that I... I had many, many years ago started on, on a, a verse, a, a, a verse that I really, really liked. It's in my f favorite book of the Bible, First Peter, and I think it is my favorite verse of the, whole, of, the, of the whole thing. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk about context. To really understand anything in the Bible, you need to understand the context. Why was First Peter written? What's the whole purpose of First Peter? We've, we had good, wonderful teachings on I just want to remind us of it. Peter was writing to a church that was under attack physically, emotionally, culturally. It was in a very hostile environment, hostile to the faith of the church. And his goal was to strengthen the, the members of the church in, in this area of the, of the Roman Empire and to prepare them to keep them from stumbling and to prepare them not to lose their faith, but to actually to emerge from this stronger in their war against the things that were warring against their souls. This time that, uh, that the church was in, that Peter was writing to, is not unlike the times we're living in right now, um, except that in the West there's no physical persecution. But I think because of no physical persecution, we are not as aware of how hostile our environment is to our faith. Well, the verse I want to talk about is found in 1 Peter 4, 9. It's very simple. Four little words. Be hospitable without grumbling. Be hospitable without grumbling. So I first started thinking about that. My first thought was, First century Christians? I thought these were perfect people. How could they even possibly grumble? Didn't they just love being hospitable to each other? How could, they, how could you even have hospitality if you were grumbling? Well, then I thought, well, they probably weren't grumbling at the people that they're being hospitable to. And it must be possible because the Bible says don't do it. So it must be possible to do it. So this is how... My thinking goes, you know, I'm starting to think like that. Okay, I can imagine a woman just grumbling under her breath that she's doing these nice things for these these people again and things. And, um, and I, I can imagine that and say, okay, she's not grumbling to them. Those people are being blessed. Those, the people, her guests are being blessed. Paul writes the same thing sometime, one time in Romans 12. Paul writes, be hospitable. And you know what Paul meant by that? He meant, be hospitable. Peter here says, be hospitable without grumbling. Paul wanted to make sure that it was real hospitality, that the guests were blessed. Peter doesn't care so much about the blessed, the guests. He's caring about the people that are doing the hospitality. He is concerned. The important words in Peter are without grumbling. The important words for Paul were be hospitable. With, P with Peter, it's without grumbling. Why is he worried about grumbling? Peter is worried about us. Peter wants us not to grumble because it hurts us. Peter recognizes that we have three enemies to our soul. The world, the flesh, and the devil. No, they work together. They can work independently. They all work. They all have the same uh, goal. They want to destroy our faith. They want to get inside and eat away at our spiritual life. They want to make us useless. They want us want us to be backslidden or faithless. And all that can happen because of bad attitudes. Bad attitudes let give them all. Uh, a way to get in and give them strength in our life. You can read all of First Peter and see this over and over again. Attitudes matter. Attitudes matter. We looked at one here, and that was grumbling. What Peter 
Well, whereas Paul is saying, be hospitable. Peter is saying, whatever good you're doing, hospitality, for example, don't do it with a bad attitude. You can still do good, have a bad attitude, and you've lost a battle. Just a few verses earlier, Peter writes, arm yourselves with the same attitude that was in Christ. And that's what I wanted to encourage us to do, to arm ourselves with the same attitude that was that was in Christ. And I wanted to also just point out, we are living in a time where culture is changing immensely. Things are changing immensely. I don't even, how do you raise kids? How do you prepare them to, to stand up for their faith and prepare them for a world we can't even imagine. One of the things we can do is teach them attitudes matter. Good attitudes matter. Thank you. I'm going to follow this up on another, on another meditation pretty soon, but thank you and have a good day.